Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, we're back at it again. We're finally getting ready to take the uh, Honda over to uh, my buddy's shop. He's uh, Dustin Moody with Moody's Performance and Design. Um, he's going to do the EFI swap on this bike and everything there. Um, I've got a turbo ordered for it. The turbo won't be in for maybe two months because uh, they're made to order. They sit about five to six weeks. Um, so got the turbo ordered for it. That's going to be a end of this year project. It's not going to be a this year project. So, um, so, but we are doing the EFI swap. So I'm hoping with that, I'll go from being in the tens to being in the, um, uh, in the 11 or not in the tens. I'm going from the twelves, going to the elevens. And then my hopes is with the turbo, it'll put me into the tens. We'll see how that goes. Um, we're getting ready to load this bike up, and then I've got to get um, the engine, the throttle bodies, and all that stuff that so he can see what he's working with and kind of go from there on it. In the last video, I showed y'all my Harley Davidson. Well, me riding it anyways. Y'all didn't see it, and some of y'all let me know about that. So this is a uh, video, uh, or this is a, the bike that I got. It's a uh, 03. Harley Davidson V Rod. It is a 100th anniversary edition. Um, paint job is uh, 181 out of 200. And then in the paint, it actually has what they call metal tattooing. Uh, I might be able to see it better here. Um, the uh, so this is the raw aluminum under here. And then he took a sander or a little grinder and made these these lines and then painted over it with a translucent paint. So um but yeah, and since the engine on this bike is actually made by Porsche, uh just to be funny, I actually changed the gauge cluster out to a Porsche gauge cluster. So I just find it it's it's funny to me, so and I got rid of the apes and I put the drag bars on, uh, drag bars on here. And I'm, I love it the way it's sitting right now. So this bike's gonna be pretty much like this. I'm not gonna really, um, I don't plan on doing anything to this bike. Just mainly because it is the 100th anniversary limited paint job. I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess any of that up. So this bike's just gonna stay as is. <clears throat> Let's go check out the engine and everything that I've got over there and then get loaded up and heading out. All right, there we go. All loaded up. Um, got the uh, got the engine. Um, got the two VFR throttle bodies. Uh, this throttle body, the throttle bodies are in good shape, but there was uh, this bent piece, so I bought another set. These are all good. But the uh, looking down in there, it's not exactly the the greatest looking. So we'll make one good one out of those. I grab the head just to kind of see where these mount to and kind of line up because this is actually a lot narrower than this is. And then the old carbs just for just for reference. So kind of sees how it goes. Uh, we did get the uh, <clears throat> um, bike dropped off. We discussed quite a bit about options and stuff like that and how it's all going to be done i'm going to go up there and try to be as part of the process as much as i can but i don't want to disrupt him while he's working because that's just going to be you know more time it's going to take for him to do the job so i'll just go up there every now and then and just check it out and see kind of the progress on it so um but today we're going to finish disassembling this and then I want to show y'all what's in here. These was some uh, rods that I had ordered and we finally got them in. So these are gonna be or, uh, from Carrillo. Uh, I got some uh, nice uh, heavy duty bolts in there. These are forged rods. They're gonna be really, really nice keeping uh, keeping the engine together under boost and opposed to the factory rod 
it's just this just ain't gonna cut it so so we got these all right so as far as the engine there's that part uh, we're just gonna disassemble the rest of the stuff that's in here that needs to be removed and uh, um, we're gonna take this over to the uh, powder coating and we're gonna have the engine powder coated so let me get this disassembled and we'll go from there it's pretty simple it's you know the crankshaft comes out and of course the transmission comes out <clears throat> It don't really get any simpler than all of that. I gotta get this stuff out. And then once this stuff's out, it comes out over here. It's real easy. And, uh, so, yeah. So let's get this all out. Alright, so actually, after taking a look at this and thinking about it for half a second, I, uh, I don't have to remove any of this. Um, they're not powder coating the inside of this engine, so... They're gonna actually take some uh, some tape and stuff and cover all this stuff up. So none of this stuff on the inside even matters. It can all stay in there. I'm gonna leave all that in there, and then we're gonna take this over, drop it off, and get it powder coated. Of course, this is uh, what it looked like when I first got it, all nasty and everything. This was after a hot tank, and they uh, done all the machine work. And then now, it's going to get fresh powder coat on the block, and it is going to look amazing. Um, I do like the raw aluminum. The problem is that um, <clears throat> unless I'm extremely diligent with cleaning it, and even some of the spots up in here, it's going to be really tough to get to. Um, this is going to corrode, and I don't want to deal with all that. So powder coating, I don't have to worry about it. So let's get this loaded up and then we're going to take it off to uh, drop it off and get it powder coated. Um, really not much else to that so I guess I'm just end the video here. Um, if y'all did like this video be sure to smash that like button. If you haven't already subscribe down below. Follow me on the rest of this build and uh, I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.